Hey y'all, for those of you new here, my name is RK Gold. I'm an author and business consultant living down in New Orleans, Louisiana. And today I'm going to be reacting to Nightwish, Ghost Love Score, live at Wacken, that 2013 show. Y'all have said this is the show to react to um, and hear all of Nightwish's music on. And I'm listening to you, I'm doing more. Uh, so I'm really excited to dive into this one. I just want to first give a thank you to the, Night to the Nightwish Army community. Y'all have been overwhelmingly supportive. Um, and fantastic teachers too. I really, really appreciate the input that you've had on, on my past two videos. It, it really does. I can tell it comes from a place of love. Um, I can tell it comes from a place of like welcoming. Like you're just so excited by this music that you want to share it with anyone who's who's interested. And I really do appreciate that. And I also want to give a huge thank you to y'all for in my second video when I mentioned that uh, a couple people in the community, not 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 that many whatsoever, but a couple people in the community, I felt like they crossed that line um, by private messaging me off of the site. And I just want to make it clear. I want to say thank you all so much for the support. It really does mean a lot. And you really have done a great job of making me feel welcome in this community. Um, also, if you don't like me and if you don't like my reaction videos, go to town on me. Feel free to comment. Just like this video. Um, just like me. Leave it in the comments below. I just wanted to draw that line of, uh, of like, don't go that extra layer of, of private messaging me um, and, and like disliking me there or, or getting personal in the DMs. Um, I, the comment section, free reign. Do whatever you want in the comment section. I just, I just wanted to make that that boundary clear of the comment section. Do what you want. Just don't go that extra mile of of, of going and finding me so that you can personally reach out to me um, and and say those those unflattering things. So thank you all again. As always, if you like this content, please hit the like button, subscribe with the bell notification. Um, so you can get notified whenever I react to Nightwish or any other bands that you like um, and keep those recommendations coming. Leave them in the comment box below and not just Nightwish. I, I, I really am enjoying how musically educated this community is and how much they want to share their knowledge with me. I, I feel like I am appreciating music more because of you. So keep the recommendations coming and even if they're not Nightwish, I want to get to them. And if you dislike this, hit the dislike button. Comment below. Let me know. Let me have it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let's just keep enjoying great music together. <sighs> okay, so let's dive in. Before I do, I'm going to be honest with you. The audio is going to be off on this one. I've been trying to get the headphones input connected, and I actually did a full reaction to the song, uh, and the audio stopped picking up three minutes in, and so the entire video I had to scrap. Um, for some reason, my computer overloads when I use two inputs. Um, it tells me to oh, uh, encoder overload. I'm even getting a message right now. Consider lowering video uh, settings. The, 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 I do not have the, the, the problems I have with, um, with recording videos um, with any other artist except Nightwish for some reason. Maybe it's, maybe it's a testament to how fantastic they are, but um, some of you have said I need to make it full screen so that you can see the experience better. I tried. I really did, and it got, I could not load beyond 10 seconds of the song without it buffering. Um, a lot of you obviously want the audio to be crisp. I'm really trying, guys. I really am, but... The amount of stress it puts on my computer, I can't get through a whole song when I do that now. Um, it just wasn't working. I even tried doing it earlier, and for some reason, I couldn't hear through the headphones. And then when I played back the video to see if it was even recording, it was recording the audio, but I couldn't hear it. Um, I'm having a lot of issues. I really want to get to this because I know this is a great song. And I'm sorry, the audio on your end just is, is going to be off balance. It's going to probably be to the left, I think. Um, and you might not be able to pick up the drums as well. I'll turn up the micro the microphone volume and hope that works. If if this makes you hate the reaction, I understand. I'm sorry. I'm really trying, guys. Um, but let, let's dive in. We got Nightwish, Ghost Love Score. Okay. <laughs> Y'all.
that transition was so okay i have to say at the beginning so that transition right here minute 14 mark fantastic absolutely love how they're able to transition from one sound to the next but holy shit i loved that um the way that the, the keyboardist um, or, or the organist, whatever, he's on the keys. I love the way that he was able to feed off the energy of, I said this on my last reaction, how much I love this drummer right here, Juka, and a lot of you were kind enough to inform me that he is no longer with the band um, in a performance space, but he is with the group um, on the business side of things because he's been suffering with insomnia. I think he is such a fantastic fucking drummer. The way that he is able to create so much emotion and put so much energy into uh, the way he plays without uh, losing discipline. Like you, you can tell he has so much energy with each strike. You can tell he can he can control the tempo like no one else. He can, he can he can really push this band forward without getting wild, without getting too relaxed. He packs it with so much energy, but remains so disciplined. It's such a fantastic treat. I really love this drummer a lot. Her voice is an unreal instrument. She okay. She obviously has the range. She obviously has the classical training. But to have a soprano with this, th with this range, and still keep the power is so unique. I know that's I know that's credited to her opera um, background training. But holy shit, it's a, you can you can come at it from a logical angle. But at the end of the day, you hear the voice, and you cannot help but get swept away by just how beautiful it is. It's it, it, um, I mean the overall theme of the song I was getting when she was singing was was sort of like ankles in the sand on a beach looking out at the ocean um, and almost like the call of a siren. Now I know call of the siren has a negative connotation to it, but it doesn't take away from the beauty of the voice itself. And I do think it's an appropriate comparison given the amount of mythology they have put in the uh, songs that I've listened to. I just love Juka. He's so fucking talented. Pick up that face.
I'm gonna let this. I'm gonna. We're about to transition over. I want to take a look at the literature. My fall will be for you. Oh, we used to swim the same moonlight waters, oceans away from the wakeful day. Oceans away from the wakeful day. My fall will be for you. My fall will be for you. My love will be for you. If you be the one to cut me, I'll bleed forever. You can't help but get swept away by the poetic language used in these lyrics. Scent of the sea before waking afterwards, engrossing us in multiple senses now, we have smell brought in, brings me to thee in the blue memory. My fall will be for you into the blue memory. Oh, a siren from the deep came to me, saying my name longingly, or longing. Still I write my songs about the dream of mine, worth everything I may ever be. The way that she's able to encapsulate so much poetic language and stretch out the sound for as long as she does to really drive home the tone of the song that perfectly matches the sounds of this orchestra, um, it's, it's phenomenal. I get swept away when I listen to them. It's part of the reason why I keep coming back to them, even though every, every video I say, I won't be reacting to that much more. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna cut this off real quick because it seems like we're gonna get hit with an ad. So I'm just gonna, I'm going to cut out the ad so we just transition back into the song. Okay, ad break over. Just wanted to offer a smooth transition into the song. Now I rewound it five seconds, so we're going to re we're going to rehear about three seconds of of time because I, it had to play obviously two before I could pause.
if you can't tell I'm massaging my cheeks because they're, they're, they hurt from smiling so much. The way she, that Floor was able to command that audience was just surreal. Um, holy shit, that was, that was a real treat to listen to. Thank you all for the recommendations. I'm really sorry about the sound quality. I know it's going to be an issue for some of you and I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going to try and do better again. I am, I am trying. Every single video, I'm trying to make it a little better than the last. It's just this one, it got to a point where I just, I wanted to put it out there already because I had tried at least three times, one of them where I actually made it through the whole song and wasn't able to share the video because everything was completely useless. So thank you all for your patience. I really do appreciate those of you who are enjoying the content and, and educating me and teaching me all about this fantastic group. Uh, thanks for watching. Let's just keep enjoying great music together.